What's up guys? Uh, video 3 I think this is. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to... Uh, Druid's here as well, but... I'm here as well. He's just um, as always. in the back there. Um, I'll show you how to side chain, basically, or how the mo method I use to side chain in my tracks. Yeah. So, basically, uh, we have our kick here. Uh, and we have our screech. If yes. I can find the screech. There's yeah. the screech. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to side chain that to a kick. I'm just going to turn the kick down so we don't all go deaf. That'd be nice. Okay. So, what I do is I get one of these little hats. You get a little one. It's a nice attack. A nice attack. A nice big transit. Well, it depends on what you want, really. Mm. But well, if it's a... Yeah. That is quite nice there. You have to look at the waveform. Oh no, see it's a bit wonky. Thinking nice maybe one, yeah. maybe that would do quite well. So now we have our our transient. We're gonna assign that to a mixer track and we're gonna take it off the master. And so it's acting as a ghost channel. Can't, can't doesn't, doesn't make it doesn't any make sound. any noise. It's yeah, completely it's not. It doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. So then, uh, we will side chain to this track, yes. which is our screech track. Mm -hmm. And basically, we're gonna put a compressor on. I'm using Pro C because it's, it's a very good. nice compressor. It's nice fab filter. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with the fab filter plugins. And basically, in FL Studio, you come to this little bar, click the thing that you mm. side chained it mm. to. Mm. Go to external sidechain plug in, and now whenever, oops, if I go back to Pro C and I open that, god damn it, Pro C keeps disappearing. It's right there. Huh? No, I got you. <laughs> uh, it will, it will duck. duck. You can see. You can see the ducking yeah. as it hits. And as a beginner, you're always told, don't use your eyes to mix. But in this case, but in this case, you, you want to see, you want to double check, check that it's working. That's working. You know? yeah. So that's working. So we'll so, chuck the screech on top of the kicks, make a little pattern, yeah, and then we'll, do we'll that. see it in full effect. Um, it's going to be a pretty uh, basic pattern. I'm yeah. not going to spend ages on this. I'm just going to go to the piano roll. And we'll just do know, something Very like nice. that. Something pretty simple. Um, we'll just chuck that down. And we also want our hat on every transient. Oh, we probably open this up as well. Just cool. So now that that's done, we'll go back to our compressor and basic settings is you want a decent decent, decent release. release not not too much uh, the threshold will be basically how much it's ducking and the ratio is how like how severe how much like it, the volume will go down side chaining is definitely a great way to learn compression it is and in to understand way. how compression works yes because once you side chain stuff you can see what is happening okay. due to compression so we'll we'll see how this sounds and we'll open this so we can see what's going on I'll leave that there so see you can see on the graph that it's ducking when it hits. If, we, also, yeah. make if you make it, it more extreme. Extreme, so we bring the threshold heaps. Give it 36, 5 ratio, give it a bit of release. Yeah, cool. Um, Quite a nice 
my setting. Um, um, so why is side chaining important in hardstyle? Why is it important? When you get to your final mix, your mix down, and you want everything nice and together, and you want to get that negative two RMS that you've always dreamed about, <laughs> this really helps create room in your mix so you can uh, so you can get to that level because mm. otherwise if you have frequencies stacking on top of each other then you're gonna it's gonna be very muddy and there's just gonna be kind of random peaks in your in your track that mm. don't make any sense because you, they're just muddy and you can't really hear them so and on top of that it gives you a nice feeling when you're listening to a song that is well side chained Yes. It's got like a more it, of a pumping and kind of give you if more you, energy and yeah. drive. And give that groove, pumping? that yeah. groove feeling. Mm. Like in lots of house tracks, use that and very yeah. uh, obviously obvious uh, mm. side chain effect. And that it's, it's a bit it. less subtle in in hard style, and you, you don't even notice it. Yeah, really. In the best you, tracks, you wouldn't really the, know that they side chain, but they they do. They definitely do. Everyone does it. Uh, it's very important. Uh, we could also show uh, how to side chain peak limiter. Have you ever used a peak limiter to side chain? I actually haven't. I don't know how to do it's that. It's pretty bad. It's rookie. Okay. We're not about that. We're not about that, so we're not going to do that. Um, I can show you the reverb, the reverb trick that I kind of promised a little bit ago. So uh, if, yeah. if we get rid of that, oh, and I can show you the the multi band thing as well. It's all pretty similar. So we have that, and if we send that to a reverb channel. Gotta stay organised. Gotta stay organised. And we chuck, I don't know, Valhalla Room because Lex might break my CPU. 100% uh, preset, cool. And I'll make it long so we can hear it. Uh, and then we have some reverb. So now what you can do is same thing, proceed. You go to this little thing and we hit the one that you are shown to. And we want depends what you are going for, but no attacks are always good. Yeah. Uh turn this down, make sure external side chain is on. And now once we hit, I'm I'll I'll just play it. It ducks when the uh, when the transient when the when the screech comes through. Comes uh, yeah, that's it's used a lot in raw hard style. Very if you've ever heard any yes. Warface, E Force, Disturb, any of those end of line. Yes, they make they have yeah. very whooshy big mm -hmm. releases on their side chain as well. Yes. Uh, so that is the reverb trick, and the other one we can do is if we go to our multiband, this other fab filter plugin that we have, uh, and we say we want to just get rid of the lows, you won't be able to hear this as much because there won't be many lows in this. We'll take sound. away the highs if you... Oh yeah, we could do that. Do that. We could definitely do that. Okay, so we'll show you how this works. Yeah. Just Turn in case you're listening down. on your phone yeah. or your laptop and you can't really hear sub bass. Uh, so that's threshold. And we want look ahead off because that will create some issues. And we want external. external. And we want to go back to our little processing stereo side chain. Cool. So now, whenever the hat hits, I'll turn off the kick and we'll just play that. And I'll show you what it does. There we go. Oh no, you can play with the release. It's tripping out. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> because of my, because do. of our, because of our sound card. But, <laughs> but you can hear it. You can definitely hear the effect it's having. When it hits, and if I leave the release down, make the uh, loop just a bit bigger. This 
see it's uh, see. it's moving whatever it hits. And if I take off these, then it will stay when I go down. And that is how you use Pro MB multi band. That's just a little trick I learnt from a quite a prominent producer. Hard style producer. Um yeah, he that's another way to create space in your mix. Yeah, and it's a good, efficient way. Good, it doesn't take a lot of time. You're not using automation yeah, to, you have to go through automate everything. frequencies and it just does it itself. Does it itself. Very it's good, good track. A uh, good trick. Uh, I that is that is about yeah. it for side chaining to be yeah. honest. Yeah, there are easy ways to side chain, so chain reverb. Uh, That's the proper way to do it. You can yeah. also side chain with. Yeah. Um, something like volume, volume shaper, shaper yeah. and that does the same thing but it's more of a, LFO. a an LFO kind of way of doing it mm. so like if you had an interesting kick pattern if you had a kick roll you couldn't mm. it won't side chain it'll always side to chain to, to that the, yeah, curve to, rather than the beat, kick yeah. itself so yes exactly right Matt uh, and that's about it, I think. That's episode three done. Um, we'll see you guys in another episode where we'll take you through... Leads. Leads? Leads it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, the kick tutorial is coming up next. Is it? Just kidding. <laughs> One Never. Day. One day, maybe. Yeah. If I feel like it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs>